that single-minded focus, the reason I want to come back to it, is that most of the problems that we face today really need our whole brain online. We need to be able to think creatively. We need to pull in solutions. We need to be aware of what is it I can do right now and what is it I want to do to be prepared to face this problem in the future or to face these possibly difficult situations in the future? So you really want like you want the whole brain working, not just that overactive amygdala. And you want to be thinking creatively. That's not what happens when you have to run away from a wild animal, right? And again, I'm talking mainly about running away in these examples. But the fight, flight, or freeze, really all three of those have these same components. All the physical symptoms of anxiety. Remember I said there's a common thread through everything. We went through all the systems in the body. But there's a common thread. They can all be tied to a fight, flight, or freeze response. So, for example, your inability to swallow or to eat. If you have to fight, flee, or freeze, you're not eating a meal, right? If you have to fight, flee, or freeze, you're not um, digesting your food right. In fact, the opposite. So, actually, constipation can be seen as tied to the flight or fight response, whereas something like diarrhea is more tied to the freeze response. 